This summer I'm going cycle touring in Europe, but I'm missing some camping gear, so I'm off to see our partners at Cotswold Outdoor for some advice. So the first thing to consider when you're buying a sleeping bag is the material for the insulation. Two main ones, down or synthetic. Uh, down will be warmer and lighter. A lot of people swear by it and for cold, dry conditions it is fantastic. But if you're out in remote places and you don't know what the weather's doing, you want something that's a little bit less temperamental, this is where synthetic comes in. Synthetic stuff stays warm while it's wet and you don't have to do any special methods to dry it. It'll just dry by itself and stay as warm as it was. So as you can see, I've got the down bag here. Bit thinner, bit lighter, and at the same time a little bit warmer. Uh, but the synthetic bag here, you're not looking at much more in terms of weight or thickness and a very similar kind of temperature range. Um, the major advantage there is that you're not then having to worry about looking after those feathers. What about this one? So this one, another synthetic one, a little bit more budget. It's not quite as breathable, it's a little bit heavier, it doesn't pack down quite as uh, nicely. If you want to spend a bit less money, you could, but it's a bit, you maybe want a liner or something to make it a bit warmer, it's not very warm. What are the other things I need to think about? First thing to consider is packability, you know, how heavy it's going to be, how much space it's going to take up in the bag, uh, then of course price as always, uh, and then finally warmth as well. You're going to be somewhere quite cold, you want to make sure you're nice and warm in the night. What's an amount I should be looking to spend on a sleeping bag? Somewhere in the realm of about 100 to 150 pounds, just uh, making considerations for the weather, something nice and lightweight as well, it's going to pack down easily. You want a decent brand, most brands come with a bit of a price tag, but you do get what you pay for. Obviously it's quite important like how small they're going to pack down. They all pack down pretty well. But you can definitely see the difference between the prices. Oh certainly, yeah, yeah. Down's you're going to get the smallest, the lightest. Um, but what's also nice is you've got compression straps here. You're just from doing that, it's not very pretty, but you do save a couple of centimetres in length. Another thing that's worth considering uh, with the down bag at home, you want to keep it in a loft bag, something big and spacious and airy, um, just stops the feathers from clumping up and staying clumped up, basically, okay. it gives them room to breathe. This one's the one that's standing out because it's kind of got all the same functions as the down, but it's one that can get wet without having to worry about it too much and it's easier to store, so. A little bit of the best of both worlds. Yeah, exactly. Good compromise option. All right.